Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be seeing how the lowest rated NHL team, sorry Arizona, hopefully you get a good draft pick this year. I think you got number three, right? Montreal ended up winning the, the lottery. And who snuck into number two? I can't remember. For some reason I want to say New Jersey, but I don't think that's right. But anyways, we're going to be using the National League as they have 13 teams in their league, so it works out perfectly. We're not going to do a fantasy draft and computer trades are going to be off, I think, because we want to avoid that by all means necessary. And we're going to make the trade difficulty, I guess, hard. Not like we're going to be making any trades anyway. All right, time to start swapping out some teams here. So the obvious one is going to be Arizona. There you go. They are 80 overall, so they are still much higher than the other teams, but we'll see. I guess just to kind of tell you how I decided the teams or it's not really how I decided it's more so how the teams were selected is I took the highest overall and if there was a tie then I would go check the standings for the most recent season and whichever team finished higher would be the go-to so oh it's gonna automatically organize it for me not a fan of that the ECHL we got the Growlers the SHL it was a Frolunda I also found out today I was today years old when I discovered that there is two Red Bull teams, and they are in different leagues. Yep, here's the other one. Basically the same logo, too. The Oil Kings were the only CHL team that was sev- or not 70, imagine, that'd be wild. 57 overall. So, they were- I can't talk and actually do stuff at the same time. So, hold on. There we go. The Edmonton Oil Kings. Nice. So, yeah, they were the only team that was 57 overall, meaning- I basically didn't have to go look at the standings for them. Okay, I think this is it. Obviously, the Arizona Coyotes are 80 overall, and they are much above the other teams. The closest is the Chicago Wolves of the AHL with 73. We have a couple 72s here in Red Bull and Frolunda. I'm so sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. And we have the Lions here at 71. All right, so yeah, we also got uh, that team. <laughs> at 71. I don't even want to try that. I am going to butcher it horribly. So, let's find out. I don't know, they might give them a run, but I think the Coyotes are probably still going to win the league and the Stanley Cup. But, you never know, I suppose. Anything could happen. I will take control of the Coyotes, I guess? Actually, you know what? I kind of want the AI to have control over those teams. So I'm going to take HV71, just because how cool does that look? Alright, let's start the season. I am... Just thinking now that we might have an issue with free agents, and I don't know how I can prevent that. Let's see, if we go to sign free agents, are we going to see a lot of NHL players here? Yeah. They want a lot of money, but it doesn't matter because there is no salary cap. Okay, I have solutioned my way out of it, so we should be all right now. Basically, what I did is just move all the free agents to the other leagues and teams, obviously, that aren't going to be participating. And that way, we have no free agents. And then I just created a new roster from Active, and I'll just delete it after to undo it, basically. So, yeah. We should be okay now. And then we want to make sure that CPU trades are off so that the rosters stay the same. Just like that, we are all set up once again. So, HV71. That will be the squadron we're representing here. Obviously, I got to set up some stuff. Turn off injuries. You know the deal. Start season. Hopefully, this time, there will not be free agents. Let's find out, though. Just gotta double check to make sure it doesn't do something weird here. Sign free agents. There should be... Oh, okay. That's fine. I don't think that's gonna be too much of an issue. I don't know where these players come from, but at least it's not, you know, like 79 overall players and stuff like that. I know there's a setting for CPU trades. Is there one for signing players or probably not? No, I doubt it. Well, it is what it is. If one of these teams think that those players will help them beat the Arizona Coyotes, then all the power to them, I suppose. So I'm not going to let the coach edit my lines, but here we go. These are the lines that we have for the HV71. That logo actually looks so sick in the top left there. And there is our defense. In net, we've got Larson. 71 overall, not bad at all. Listed as a starting goaltender, and he's listed as a backup. All right. Nice. Alstrom, first line forward. We are probably going to get rinsed. But let's simulate and find out if Arizona can, in fact, dominate the league and 
win the I don't know what the trophy's called for this league, but just win the whole thing in general. Our first game against Arizona, we lost 5-1. But again, the HV71 was not really one of the highest rated teams. That time we only lost 2-1, so we got a little bit closer. Arizona, 6-1, all right, they dummied us there. Things not looking so hot for our team here. We actually ended up beating Arizona, though, in our final showdown. An overtime W. Let's check out the standings. We got 34 points from David. Fire me up. Love that effort from you. Okay, I don't know why season mode is like this, but you got to go to the bottom one. So Arizona did kind of dominate with 120 points. That is 24 more than the second place Chicago Wolves. And then we've got the Red Bull team from the DEL in third place, 92 points. They went 25, 15, 5, and 7, I guess. Yeah, because they count overtime win as a different thing. So, interesting. We did not make the playoffs. Not a shocker there. Windsor Spitfires ended up finishing last. And wait, okay, yeah. The Islanders finished second last, and then the Oil Kings actually were somewhat close to a playoff spot. Actually, very close. They were one point back. I would show you all our individual player stats, but that's not really why we're here. We're not that interested. Let's check out the entire league. So, Phil the Thrill had 55 points in 52 games. That's it. Wow. I thought he'd have more. Uh, whoa. Look at this guy go. He ended up putting 54 and 52. Fire me up, Dylan. Uh, Neighbors putting up 54. Clayton Keller with 47. Uh, we've got Ryan Lash with 46. Noel, Noel, I don't know, could be either or. But either way, 45. Barrett Hayton, 44. Let's check out the goaltenders. Yeah, obviously Corral is going to be at the top there at 912. And he had 26 wins, but Jacob's right on his tail with 26 wins as well. And a 908, we got a 926 from Danny. Wow. And a 926 from Merrick. Legends. Uh, with Lion with a 922, he did well as well. Oh, I didn't even realize that Hoffenmeyer was a defenseman. So he got 45. That's pretty good. And then Vili Sariarvi, he got 42. Lucas Cormier, 41. Matt gets 38. Gostas Bear with 36. He was the first Arizona defenseman. Will Arizona be able to take the cup or the trophy? Whatever you want to call it. Let's find out. My prediction is yes. Yes, they will. The simulation engine in this game, you just never know. Plus, I guess the overall is seven difference. Okay, they ended up winning it. So they did still win the league and the playoffs as well. So it was a pretty dominant performance from them. I'm interested to check out... Actually, let's check the player stats in the playoffs quick here. There's no trophies, unfortunately. Louis Erickson. Wow. This guy led the team with 14 points in 16 games. Very odd. Clayton Keller with 14. So he led the entire playoffs. He would have got the Conn Smythe, maybe. Uh, Chicharin with 13. Ruzika with 13. Helixson back again. Let's go, Matt. McKenna. All right. There you have it. Well then, a 26.9 shooting percentage. That is very good. Martin down here at a 29.4. That's crazy. Here is the playoff tree. They never went to seven games, but the Growlers did take them to six. So, you know, they had a bit of a scare there, but nothing too severe. Well, anyways, there you have it. The NHL team will still, I guess you could say dominate. It wasn't too bad, but yeah, they still end up winning both the season and the playoffs. I hope you guys found that interesting. If you have any other sort of ideas for experiments or anything like that, be sure to leave it in the comments down below. Always have fun doing these kind of videos, just seeing how they turn out. Because even though we sort of expected that result, you know, it's, it's good to see that our suspicion was true and we get to see some different players in action, stuff like that. Get to check out how the other team's players performed. And yeah. That is gonna do it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you soon.